Today on the Boot Guy, we're talking about the Red Wing 405 6 inch mock toe wedge sole. Now, if you were to walk into a Red Wing store today and you'd see this on the wall, you'd see it next to an Irish setter that looks almost identical. And I mean, side by side to the untrained eye, these two boots, the Irish setter and the Red Wing, they're pretty much the same thing. But it's not until you really put your hand inside the 405 and you start really looking at the finer details of this Red Wing that you see where the extra money is going. Now on the 405, Red Wing has made this thing waterproof with the Red Wing's waterproofing system, which is a three layer system. The first layer is a wicking type material that is built into the boot that you actually feel with your hand. The next layer is a impenetrable membrane like Gore-Tex or like Sipatec or like something like that, which is now sandwiched to there. And then there's the waterproof leather. And if you're looking for this thing to be cool in the summer, I think you could look somewhere else for a cooler boot. Because of the waterproof system and because of the hand of leather, and I mean, this is some great leather, is that it's gonna be warm. It's gonna be really warm. Especially if you're in a hotter climate, Florida, you know, uh, Texas, Arkansas, places like that. Red Wing always does a really nice job when they make a mock toe. As you can tell, it's kind of tight around the top of the toe, but in the width of the foot, where you're gonna find the big toe, where you're gonna find the pinky, they actually put a little extra space in there. So it's gonna feel really nice, even in their D widths. Inside this one, you don't find anything really exciting. You find a very simple insole. Single density, really nothing there. A little bit of an arch that is sewn into the boot, you know, and this kind of telegraphs from that to this. Now you're probably about to say, hey, boot guy, the 405, is that an American made or is that one of the imports? Well, the 405 is an import. But don't let that stop you from trying it out, from looking at it, from trying it on and comparing it to the other boots that are on the market. Red Wing uses a really nice wedge sole. This thing's got a lot of tread. It's got a lot of grip. You know, if you're walking iron, if you're a pipe fitter, if you're a boiler maker, and you want something like this, something that's a little bit softer, this would not be a bad choice. Red Wing does a really nice touch on the front. They sew down the sole right there. They add a few stitches to the front. So if you're kicking things, you're not gonna peel this part away. If you look at that top collar, you look at the top of this boot, it's not square. It's actually rounded. It's arced like this, which is really nice when you come to think about if you got to work on your knees, if you're a finished carpenter, if you're building curbs all day, pouring concrete, this is a great boot for you. Hardware and laces, basic, nothing to write home about. A nice machined eyelid at the top, one speed lace, but it is matched up with a little bit of polypropylene webbing. It's like a half inch piece of polypropylene webbing which is sewn into the boot. Not a nice touch if you ask me. That should have been an eyelid. Right there that should have been an eyelid and not a piece of webbing. That's a weak spot and that's probably the one spot that guys are gonna break. So that's the Red Wing 405. As you can tell, it's a really nice boot. If you're in a Red Wing shop and you see it on the wall and you see it next to the Irish Setter that's pretty much the same thing, ask to try them both on. Compare them. You can see why this is going to be a more comfortable, better boot. Why that softer leather is going to be a nicer fit throughout the day. If you've worn this boot, please leave some comments below. Let guys know what to expect from this Red Wing. Don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. And if you should have any questions about this Red Wing or any other Wedge Soul boot in my Wedge Soul series, please feel free to drop me an email. Until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks for watching.